Neera Tandon keeps getting asked about her conflicts of interest because as the head of the Center for American Progress, the organization took in money from corporate interests, from foreign interests. And now that she's facing Senate hearings to potentially confirm her as the head of the Office of Management and Budget, these issues are coming up. So Senator Bernie Sanders asked her about it recently. Let's hear what he had to say and how she answered. Your attacks were not just made against Republicans. There were vicious attacks made against progressives, people who I have worked with, me personally. So as you come before this committee to assume a very important role in the United States government, at a time when we need serious work on serious issues and not personal attacks on anybody, whether they're on the left or the right, can you reflect a little bit about some of your decisions and the personal statements that you have made in recent years? Yes, Senator, I really appreciate that question. And I recognize that my language and my uh, expressions on social media, you know, um, caused hurt to people. And I feel badly about that. Now, she does get asked about her behavior on social media quite a bit. Um, Senator Sanders also asked about uh, you know, the Center for American Progress and how uh, it had taken money from um, corporate interests. And I, I think that's a legitimate concern. Honestly, it's in my opinion, a more important concern um, than what she tweeted about, even though her tweets were pretty horrendous. Um, but Waz, what do you think about that line of questioning and the way that she's been handling herself during this, um, during these hearings? I mean, I'm I'm certainly grateful that you know Bernie uses his you know sort of public pulpit as a way to sort of signal like. Look, man, she's one of those people, right? She's she's very closely tied to the corporate interests of America, and she's now going to have a prominent place in the administration of one Joe Biden. Like, I, I like I I can't say this enough. I like I can't stress it enough that it's important that people say this stuff out loud. Like that it's on the public record that so that when something doesn't go the way it was supposed to, we can say, look, we we pointed it out as it was happening. We're not because because that's what they do. They'd be like, nobody was saying that at the time. Everybody was cool with it. We're having a revisionist history. No, 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 no. We were right then and we're right now when it goes completely wrong, right? If or when that happens, of course, we're keeping we're keeping our hopes alive and keep it staying hopeful. I don't know why I just said keep hope alive. I don't know why, but <laughs> I'm just saying like, we're we're staying hopeful that things work out in a way that we would like to, but I think it's important that Bernie says this out loud in a public forum. That being said, um, what wasn't pictured there was Lindsey Graham, you know, <laughs> immediately jumped to her defense and said, "Well, well, you know, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting corporate donations. It doesn't mean that they own you or that you're in anybody's pocket. It just means that you know, you owe them." <laughs> it's just, so it's, it's so sick. let's. Yeah, so there, so that exchange, um, that exchange is important, right? The exchange where Bernie specifically talks about uh, the Center for American Progress and the millions and millions of dollars that that organization, that think tank, uh, received from corporations. Um, so that here's where that interaction happened. Before I vote on your nomination, it is important for me and members of this committee to know that those donations that you have secured. At CAP will not influence your decision making at the OMB. Further, I would like to hear how you plan to work with this committee and the Congress to enact the promises that President Biden made to the American people. Mm, she don't like that. What is she writing? What, is she, what are her notes? What are you writing, girl? Like, I want to know what your notes say. I want to know. And, like, and, I can't stand and, this man. I meant everything I tweeted about him. Course. He can go f himself. Yeah. And Anna, like, it's important what you said though, which is that obviously what she says on Twitter is less important than these corporate donations, but. I find it very hard to believe that the two things are not directly related. That one does not flow from the other. That 
you talk about Bernie Sanders in a certain type of way on a public forum, while everybody knows you're one of Hillary Clinton's, you know, homegirls, for lack of a better term. How can I believe that that's unconnected from the fact that Bernie Sanders is probably the most anti corporatist person in the entire American government? How can I think that those two were not? Interlocked and related to one another. I'm sorry, I would need to be convinced otherwise. I don't care what she says at this committee today. Like, I would need to be convinced otherwise that the two things aren't related. No, you're absolutely right about that. So um, back in 2019, uh, Bernie Sanders did write a scathing letter to the Center for American Progress, accusing the organization of bad faith smears and criticizing mm. Tandon um, for calling quote for a for for unity while simultaneously maligning my staff and supporters and belitt belittling uh, progressive ideas. And so why why does she have uh, this giant interest in um, you know criticizing or belittling? Uh, Progressivism and um, you know doing something about inequality in this country. Well, Tandon um, has received quite a bit of money. Um, I should say the Center for American Progress, under her leadership, has received quite a bit of money from corporate companies, thirty-three million dollars uh, from companies like Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, and Google since 2014 alone. So you're right, Waz. I mean, Twitter is used as a vehicle uh, to help bolster stir the interests of her donors, right? The donors for Center for American Progress. Like she would go after Bernie Sanders and progressive politicians like Sanders um, on behalf of her donors. Uh, and I think that is yeah. an issue. And remember, she, if she gets confirmed, she would be the head of the Office of Management and Budget. This is supposed to be an independent government agency that puts out unbiased data regarding the impact of budgetary policy, right? Mm -hmm. And so if she has this these conflicts of interest, <laughs> is she gonna carry out her job appropriately? And I think that that's the most important question to ask. I'm happy to see that not only Bernie Sanders asked it, even someone who I find is disgusting as Senator Josh Hawley also asked that question. And I think it's a legitimate concern, um, so yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, it's my and, fear. And that always she's remember, to Anna, like J.P. Morgan Chase and B of A. These are great American companies that have nothing but <laughs> uplift the American working class and normal people since their very inception. Obviously, <laughs> psych. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. We really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.